Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hi, we are back with the next lab here. So this is uh, exploiting blind SQL injection with out of band techniques. Okay, this is an out of band uh, request what we have to give. Uh, I would suggest you to go through all these things to understand better. Of course, I will tell you what is out of band. But still, I would say just go through all these things just to understand very better. Okay, let me go back. And here, so uh, I would like to stress on only this sentence. Exploit the blind SQL injection vulnerability by triggering out of band network interaction to a system that you control. Okay, so this is something like we are hosting a website on our own and we have all the controls on that website and if we give that website URL uh, uh, as an out of band and we can get the logs uh, like either in the DNS or in the HTTP in that way we can get the logs and that is how out of band uh, techniques can be worked when uh, blind SQL injection okay so why DNS? Why only DNS? Why are we concentrating on DNS? Because uh, they are essential for the normal operation of production environment. So this is definitely needed. There is no block with the DNS. Okay. So most probably it is definitely needed. So everywhere we definitely can get a DNS uh, queries. Okay. I mean, a few cases we might not get, but at most. Okay, let us directly jump into the lab. So blind SQL injection with out of band interaction. So let us study what it is. So the lab contains a blind SQL injection vulnerability. The application uses a tracking cookie for analytics and performs an SQL query containing the value of the submitted cookie. The SQL query is executed asynchronously and has no effect on the application's response. However, you can trigger an out of band interaction with an external domain. Okay. To solve the lab, exploit the SQL injection vulnerability to cause a DNS lookup to burp collaborator. Okay. So here it tells that uh, we need to perform a blind, a blind SQL injection and we need to trigger a DNS from the burp collaborator. Okay. And here in note it says to prevent the academy platform being used to attack third parties our firewall blocks interaction between the labs and arbitrary external systems. To solve the lab you must use burp collaborators default public server. So this thing we can only get in the professional edition. So there is no scope of using the burp suit uh, community edition. Okay. So let us go to this hint and you can find some okay this is a cheat sheet just let me open this and just let me pin it and directly let us go to the out of band yeah so this is a dns lookup so this is the thing what we need for now so you can cause the database to perform a dns lookup to an external domain to do this you you will need to use burp collaborator client to generate unique burp collaborator subdomain that you will use in uh, in your attack then pull the collaborator server to confirm that a dns lookup occurs okay and let us access the lab first meanwhile yeah we have different databases for each and every database we have different uh, you know uh, queries uh, how to uh, do a dns lookup uh, so we will we are going to try each and everything here so if this doesn't work we are going with this and if this doesn't work we are going with this okay uh, that way we are going to plan and let me put the proxy to burp and we are now we are in the lab just let me hit on home and go to burp suit and http history so this should be our uh, you know request and send it to the repeater so as it says the tracking id is the vulnerable parameter here and let me uh, send just like that yeah we got a 200 okay response so uh, let us quickly go to that uh, dns lookup so this is the dns lookup and we are going first we will uh, try to 
do uh, some injection with this okay we will we will take let me copy this and let me take a text editor and paste it here so this is this should be our payload okay so we already know that see uh, whenever we hit on this uh, burp uh, i mean uh, whenever this request triggers a uh, triggers a query then we will have a inverted comma here and then also here so let us balance this first just like this and i will concatenate the rest of the query uh, let me put it in brackets just just for our uh, convenience and we are going to comment out the rest all just hit this okay now uh, the next step what we need to do is uh, we need to take this uh, http uh, burp collaborator subdomain we need to replace this with our burp collaborator so go to burp and click on burp collaborator client so this should give this and here click on copy to clipboard now open this and just paste it here okay i have pasted it here and this is a http uh, request okay uh, i think everything looks good let me copy this and yeah we we definitely need this uh, burp collaborator with us just keep it aside and just paste it here just like this uh, control u and let us see let us check everything i will i will definitely explain you what exactly this uh, payload does okay and uh, yeah this should be fine and let me hit on send yeah we got the response and go to this burp collaborator and just hit on poll now yeah for me i got this in just one click but uh, when i was practicing it took like 5 to 7 times i clicked 5 to 7 times i i tried again and again then only it worked it depends on uh, sometimes it depends okay uh, just uh, go to this uh, dns and so this is the place uh, you know we got a uh, reverse uh, you know uh, log here okay this is nothing just see if we uh, so let me explain this so after giving this payload uh, and once i am sending this uh, request this uh, uh, payload added request so this is touching the server and from server uh, the server is connecting i mean uh, sending back the response to this dns uh, logs we can say so that dns logs here this is our uh, collaborator client i mean this is our server and we will get we will have all the logs here okay so here we can get the ip address of this particular uh, you know uh, thing uh, so this is how we can do a dns request and we can uh, you know uh, exfiltrate whatever uh, query wa that we want so all the dns for we got four dns and one http of course let us go to this and so this is how the http looks we just got like this okay so this means the server the burp suite collaborators i mean this particular website has touched our collaborator client that is the reason we got the dns yeah thank you and yeah before that let us go to this lab and see yeah congratulations you have solved this lab if you don't understand what happened uh don't worry i'll explain you uh yes uh, just a second and before that uh, here i i would like to explain you the query so you know uh, you know this thing what we are doing until here so we are concatenating and we are uh, we are giving a select statement again this is a query and in which this is the particular uh, you know a thing that what we want to select from a dual because this, uh, we are giving dual because uh, we are we have targeted as this is an oracle database okay so uh, let me tell you what this is doing so extra extract value is going to extract some value from the xml type 
okay so this is an xml injection so uh, with the x of course we did not cover this xml injection but uh, uh, xml injection is something like by injecting uh, a malicious payload to that we can retrieve some sensitive data or something uh, like uh, confidential information okay and yeah that is how it works with the xml injection and we will go through all these things one we once we are solving the xml injection but here we need to concentrate on this thing which is the uh, burp suit collaborator clients uh, url what we need to replace and yeah we need to concentrate on the uh, balancing okay so this is how it is okay congratulations you have solved this lab and let us meet in the next lab and you will definitely understand why we are using this external interaction and what is the use and how we can exfiltrate some confidential information from this external service interaction. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day.